getting jacked absolutely will change your life 100% but it's not all good okay uh, I've spent the last seven years getting in shape and uh, there's been a lot of things that there's been benefits obviously but there's been a lot of things which uh, have been not so good and a lot of kind of like negatives and things that I never expected and nobody ever told me about so in this video I want to share with you the good the bad the ugly so you know exactly what to expect and you're gonna know how to do it much faster than it took me all right so I want to go back a few years and kind of just describe of what describe my life and how it looked like before because um, you know as a teenager uh, I was a bit of a rebel at school to be honest um, and then as a teenager I started to have health issues okay I had chronic back pain 24 7 365 days a year and this went on for years and progressively got worse and worse and worse started at age 14 and you know gradually got a lot worse and uh, I also had brain fog couldn't concentrate depression and anxiety just from being in chronic pain 24 7 and it didn't really make any sense because I was active uh, I was playing football uh, I was going to the gym and nobody knew what was going on uh, you know I went to see a lot of different specialists up and down the country up and down the UK uh, so loads of different people over the years and no one could really figure out you know what was the issue and, and you know why did I have back pain and it affected my studies you know I had to resit final exams uh, I ended up going to university but then I got kicked out uh, not just because of my health issues but that definitely uh, contributed to it um, so you know I'm living with my parents I'm unemployed I'm not making any money I'm bedridden I'm taking three or four different medications uh, and I can't eat anything because I just feel sick from the medications I'm not sleeping well because of the medications and I'm just lying in bed like a vegetable thinking is this how my life's gonna end up like is this how I'm destined to live the rest of my life like surely uh, surely it's, it's not gonna be like this I just I refuse to accept that this is how my life's gonna go you know I just I wouldn't accept it any longer so there and then I got up, went in the shower and decided to go for a run. There's a reservoir near my house and I just ran around the reservoir. It's like a, I don't know, 20, 30 minute run. And I did the run and obviously I had a lot of pain, a lot of back pain, but I felt good afterwards because it's the most exercise I'd done in months. And I was like, I'm gonna do this again. <clears throat> and then I ended up doing it twice a day. I'm gonna run in the morning and in the afternoon, twice a day. And then I started going to the gym. <clears throat> uh, even though I had pain, I just kind of just pushed through it. And then one evening, uh, I'm watching, uh, then I start to go down this whole like health route, right? Because uh, now I was going to the gym and I feel like I was actually making a little bit of progress in some area of my life. Then instead of just watching uh, bullshit stuff on um, Netflix, I put on like a health documentary and it was a documentary about people who had chronic health conditions and they changed their diet and their lifestyle and they'd reversed these so-called chronic health conditions they just they just gone away and it just dawned on me there and then I was like hang on a minute out of all the people I've seen up and down the country not a single person has ever asked me what's my diet like what food am I eating uh, nothing not a single person ever asked me about diet or lifestyle or anything like that and it just dawned on me there and then like what if uh, you know it's something to do with the food that I'm eating uh, or something like that so I removed gluten and dairy and some other foods from my diet and I felt so much better you know my back pain slowly started to fade away uh, I had more energy, uh, I could concentrate, uh, I wasn't depressed, I had, uh, you know, I was just my overall mood was so much better, I was just in a lot more positive mindset. And that this really, you know, going on the runs, going to the gym and fixing my diet 
is really the, the turning point for my life because I've gone from being broke, having no money, unemployed, university dropout, all my family are really concerned about me, to now that I'm living in Bali, it's a Thursday at 9am, I'm at the beach, I plan my day on my terms, I was, I was out for dinner last night with one of my friends and we're speaking about, oh, should we go to Vietnam next week? Or maybe we go to Colombia in a couple of months. So I've got location freedom. I've got time freedom. Um, I'm not financially free. I'm not rich in, in kind of my definition of rich, but uh, you know, I'm comfortable at least. And is this all just because I got jacked? No, of course not. I've had to do a lot of work in and outside of the gym to get to this point where I am right now. But maybe I wouldn't even be here right now. I wouldn't have this life had I not gone to the gym, okay? And for you, maybe you're not in as bad a position that I was. But even still, there are a lot of benefits to, uh, to, to getting in shape, okay? And probably the biggest benefit is that, you know, going to the gym and getting in shape, it requires hard work. It requires discipline, it requires consistency, it requires doing things that you don't want to do, it requires acting when you don't feel like it, and it requires having a plan and sticking to that plan day after day, month after month, year after year, okay, and having a vision for the, a better vision for the future, okay. And guess what? If you want to build a business, if you want to have a successful relationship, whatever endeavor that you want to do in your life, the principles of success are the same. So getting in shape teaches you how to be successful in other areas of your life and this is why I always talk about fitness is the gateway to success because if you learn how to build a physique then you can learn how to build a business you can learn how to build a relationship you can learn how to build the other areas of your life what it does is you go to the gym you get some results and then you realize that you have the power you are in control and this is what happened to me is I thought oh, life is just happening to me, I've just got these health issues and there's nothing I can do about it. But really, there was many things I could do about it. Instead of listening to the so-called experts, I just took control, I took matters into my own hands and I decided there and then that I'm going to figure this stuff out and I did. And chances are, if there's a, an area of your life that you want to improve right now, getting jacked We'll never hear that, okay? We'll never hear that whatsoever, okay? So another benefit to, uh, to, to getting in shape is that you normalize doing hard things because let's face it, life is not always easy, okay? There's ups and downs and sometimes, you know, we go through tough periods and bad things happen to good people and life is unfair sometimes, but if you normalize doing hard things every day, if you normalize going to the gym and training to failure nearly every single day, if you normalize doing ice baths, that's a great reason to do ice baths is because it's something that's hard to do and you force yourself to do it every single day such that when you come to, the, to, to, to some testing times and the universe gives you challenges, well, you're just, in a, you're just much better equipped to deal with uh, those circumstances. You, you become anti-fragile, okay? You become like a rock, you become hardened because you're not seeking comfort, you know? Like, uh, it's, it's naturally, I think we just wanna seek comfort as much as possible and we just want things to be as easy as possible. But unfortunately, if you go through life like that, that is a recipe for an extremely average life. So for me, I was always very afraid of living an average life. It was the last thing that I absolutely wanted. And when I was just in bed and depressed, I thought like, this is, this is worse than an average life. This is like an, a below average life, okay? But, so if you, um, you know, if you're at that point right now where you maybe feel like you need to improve some aspects of your life, just get in shape, get, get, get in shape. If you're feeling down or you're feeling depressed, get in shape because it's not gonna hurt you, it will only help you. But there are a few negatives, okay? So I'm gonna talk about the negatives right now. Um, so the first one is a very practical negative. 
some people might see this as a positive and sometimes for most of the time I see this as a positive sometimes it's a negative and that is the bigger you get and the more jacked you get you need to eat more food just to maintain your physique and obviously if you're eating more food it's going to cost money <laughs> right so uh, for me to just I live in I li I'm in Bali right uh, the portion sizes in Asia are typically much smaller than in the West so when I go out for a meal I would typically order like two or three mains uh, two two starters you know just because the portion size is just not big enough for me I'm like over a hundred kilos all right so um, you will need to eat more and for some people uh, if you're broke right now you know that might be a potential negative because you because you're like oh god I've got, it's gonna cost me more money I'm gonna be spending more money on food but the solution to that is to just get rich okay it's to just you know uh, earn more money because then that is not an issue at all and will getting jacked directly help you earn more money well unless you're in the fitness industry probably not but it will give you it will give you the confidence and because you have more confidence you're more likely to take risks you're more likely to take that new opportunity you're more likely to start that business where otherwise you wouldn't have done okay so um it's not it's not i don't see it as a negative to be honest but it is something you should be aware about okay next thing is you're going to get more attention okay and not all attention is good for example sometimes you're going to get attention from guys like sometimes i go on a night out uh, and there's just some drunk idiots and because uh they see that like i'm big and i'm in i'm in shape sometimes they just might say stupid shit you know like you know what drunk people are like especially if you uh, make them feel inferior because unfortunately there's a a subset of people out there in the world who they will look at you and they will see you uh, doing well and then they will look at themselves and then they'll realize you know where they need to improve and you've just made them realize that, oh, there's this area of my life that I'm lacking. And instead of being motivated and inspired by that, they want to tear you down. They want to hate on you. In, the, in their head, they want to pull you down so they don't feel as bad about themselves. So maybe they might go on this video and write some mean comments, <laughs> you know, or they will just say stuff to you. Rarely does people actually just say anything to your face in person they might talk about you behind your back but even if they don't say anything and it's all in their head there are some people out there in the world who will get jealous or envious or you know you'll make them feel worse just by being in good shape but unfortunately you can't please everyone that's something that's outside of your control if you don't have any haters at all you're doing something wrong you're probably an NPC so with this one I just wouldn't worry about it I would just focus on being the best version of you being as jacked as naturally possible and just being as nice a person as possible and granted you will meet some people along the way who don't vibe with you and don't like you and that's okay you can just not spend time with those people and focus on people who you do vibe with and if you're that sort of person who you know uh, gets jealous with other people who are doing well like just understand that that is a choice you're choosing that right now another option is to be inspired uh, and to see it as motivation because if they can do it then why can't you as well okay and also another point on attention is attention from girls now especially if you're like me when you're younger and didn't really get an awful lot of attention from girls Getting attention from girls will be a massive positive, but it's not always a massive positive because um, if you haven't got the rest of your life in order, for example, you get in shape, okay? Now you're getting attention from girls. Now girls are actually DMing you, which by the way, does happen. Uh, now you've got multiple, multiple dating options. You can go on dates multiple nights a week. Uh, you know where's the rest of the time to work on yourself okay because it's not you can't just get jacked okay you can't just be one-dimensional 
you've got to have you, you've got to get rich yeah you've got to have charisma you've got to have style you've got to learn how to be a good person you know you've got to be charismatic the, there's so many other areas of your life that you need to improve and and getting jacked won't affect any of those but you will get more attention from girls and with that attention it's just more distractions in general like when I wasn't jet and I didn't get any attention from girls it was so much easier to be focused because I didn't have to worry about that because no girls were trying to get my attention but now it can be a little bit harder at sometimes uh, I just uh, I'm just in a period of my life where uh, I'm just going back to focusing but I know this because uh, I, there's been a few times in my life where I've just you know gone a little bit crazy with girls but uh, chasing girls is not going to help you get to where you want to go you just want to focus on yourself and building yourself to the point where they come to you okay and if you're at a point where you know you're you built your physique maybe you built a business or you're happy in your career or you know you've sorted out other areas of your life by all means go and enjoy that extra attention but if you're not there yet don't get distracted by the temptations. Don't get distracted by the uh, the sweet, ripe fruit. Okay. So they're the negatives. Um, so what I want to say is that like getting jacked will not fix all your problems. Okay. Just like getting rich will not fix all your problems. It will fix most of them. You know, if you get rich, you fix all your money problems. If you get jacked, you fix a lot of problems. It will help, indirectly help you make more money. It will indirectly help you with your relationships because you'll have more personal confidence. You'll also have more options in the dating place, uh, in the marketplace as well. So it will help your relationships. It will help you make more money. Um, you'll be healthier. You'll have less. You'll have less or no health issues. And there's almost no costs to getting in shape. Obviously, there's a few that we just talked about. Um, but the best thing, or, or the best reason to get in shape is because it cannot be bought, okay? Unlike, you know, the watches, the cars, the houses, uh, you know, they can all be bought. And, you know, still, to earn money, it's going to take a lot of uh, effort to earn that money. But the thing is with the physique is you cannot, there's no, there's no shortcut, okay? You have to go in the gym and you have to work hard and it tells people know so much about you if they see that you're in shape okay before you you've even opened your mouth and you've said a single word people know something about you they know well this guy is hard working he's dedicated he's disciplined you're much more likely to be trusted you're much more likely to have uh you know if you're at a business meeting it's much more likely to go the way you want it to because you've set that first impression and I know people say, don't judge your book by its cover, but we all do. It's ingrained into us. It's like a natural survival instinct. So if you're on the fence right now as to, you know, is it worth it? Can you do it? Let me tell you, you can absolutely do it. Anyone can get in the best shape of their lives. Do some people have better genetics than others? Yes, obviously, but anyone can get in good shape. Anyone can get a six pack. Well, anyone can get abs. Let's just say that. Okay. So you can do it. It is possible. It just comes down to whether you want it enough and whether you're willing to give up the vices, whether you're willing to, you know, stop doing the things that are holding you back and actually commit to this. But if you're wondering right now, is it actually worth it? I invite you to just go all in for a year. Go all in on building your physique, uh, you know, focus on your nutrition, your training, your sleep, your lifestyle, get in the best shape of your life. And then you can tell me, send me a DM, send me a message and let me know because I know for 100% certainty that you will not regret it. It's one of the best things that you can do for yourself and for the people around you is getting in good shape. Okay, so go out there and do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go out there and get jacked, get in the best shape of your life. I am gonna enjoy the rest of this sunshine today. 
and I'll see you in the next one.